hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Paige if you are new here I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button down below if you are not new here thank you for watching another video so as you guys can see by the title of today's video I am going to be seeing if the old wives tales are like accurate or not so usually a lot of youtubers will do this type of thing before they find out the gender of their baby and as you guys already know i already posted like the gender video and everything as you guys already know from watching that video i found out the gender of my baby relatively early and like i said in that video i didn't really know when our results were going to come and they like took forever to come and me and tj wanted to film this together before we found out um, but then when we got our results, we were just so excited and we wanted to find out that day So we never had time to actually film this video So I've had these written on this board for like probably a couple months now Just ignore Luna But I've had these written on this board for probably a couple months now We haven't been able to do this So I was contemplating like even doing this video because like I said, we already know that we're having a girl But I did still want to do it So I'm just gonna be doing it in a little bit of a different way and I'm just going to be seeing how accurate old wives tales are So I don't know if you guys can really see this that well But on here I have mom and dad's intuition carrying baby skin body temperature baby's heart rate cravings Mayan calendar, morning sickness, dad's weight, headaches, ring tests, mood, heartburn, and the side that you're sleeping on. Okay, so let's get started. Um, and by the way, CJ is not able to do this video with me because he is working, so I'm just going to do it by myself. So the first thing is mom and dad's intuition. And honestly, both me and CJ just knew that like we were having a girl. We felt like we were having a girl. So I'm just going to circle a girl because me and CJ both just knew that it was a girl. So for the next one is carrying baby. Now this one is kind of a little hard because I still feel like I have a small belly, but let me show you guys my belly right now. So this is my belly right now. So this is my belly right now, and I do have like a shirt on where my belly is like out a little bit, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like since the beginning, I've kind of been carrying kind of low because I feel like it's more like here. But yeah, side profile, front profile. Let me know what you guys think. But I think I'm gonna circle low for this one. So yeah, comment down below what you guys think, but I think I'm gonna circle low for this one. All right, so then the next one is skin. So it's either glowing for boy or acne for a girl. Now in the beginning, I feel like I never break out and I was having like really bad breakouts on my forehead and I don't know if that's just because like I wasn't on birth control anymore because I'm pregnant or if it was because of pregnancy so I was breaking out in the beginning but I feel like now like I'm not really breaking out I mean I still have like a few little like impurities on my forehead but I feel like overall, I'm just not a person that breaks out that much. And I have had people tell me like, oh, you're glowing. So I really don't know. I think I'm just going to circle one of each for that one just because I really am not too sure. So the next one is body temperature. Have I been cold or hot? This one is also hard to tell because I feel like when I first got pregnant, like it was still pretty cold outside and now it's like warmer outside. Um, and that does play a part in like my body temperature. But overall, I want to say that, I don't know, we do have our fan on in our room every single night because I do get kind of hot, I guess you could say. I don't know. I really don't know what to do for this one. I really feel like I'm not cold too often though. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to say hot because it's hard to tell. I don't really know. So the next one is baby's heart rate. So they say if the baby's heart rate is below 140, it's usually a boy. And if it's higher than 140, it's usually a girl. Every single appointment that I've had since the beginning, the heart rate was always over 140. So, girl. So the next one is cravings. Do I crave salty things or sweet things? Now, I don't know if you guys know me, but my favorite snack is like 
chips, goldfish, things like that. I don't ever really like want anything sweet. But for a little bit there, I was on a kick where I like wanted candy. I wanted like trolley gummy worms. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna like say salty though, just because I feel like I barely crave sweet things. I'm always wanting like chips or something. So the next one is the Mayan calendar. So if you guys don't know what the Mayan calendar is, you basically use the year that you got pregnant, so 2023, and then you use the age that you were when you got pregnant. So if both of those numbers are even or both of those numbers are odd, then it is a girl. But if one is even and one is odd, then it is a boy. Um, so like I said, I got pregnant in 2023, so that's odd. And then I was 19 when I conceived, which is also odd. So since they are both the same, that is gonna be a girl. So the next thing is morning sickness and shout out to my body, my baby, because I did not experience any morning sickness and I did not want to. Being nauseous is so awful. So I'm just so grateful that I never had to experience any morning sickness. And yeah, so morning sickness is a big no. Okay, so the next one is dad's weight. So I had to walk away to ask CJ if he feels like he gained weight or stayed the same weight since I became pregnant. And he said he feels like he stayed the same weight. So that's what I'm gonna circle. So the next thing is headaches. Have I had headaches? Um, I definitely have. They're not like every day, they're not consistent, but they do come and go. And when I do have a headache, it is pretty bad. So yes, headaches are yes. So the next one is the ring test, but like I said, CJ is working right now, so he can't help me with it. So I can probably do it myself, but I'll just try to save that for the end of the video. Um, so we're just gonna skip that one for now. So the next one is mood. So have I been happy or moody? I would definitely say that I've been moody just because I get those like random moods where I'm like annoyed or emotional or whatever it is. Um, Obviously, I've been happy too, but I have definitely been more moody than happy, so moody. And then the next one is heartburn. So I don't say I don't want to say I necessarily have had heartburn, but I've had indigestion, which is like that's more like when it's in your stomach and not like a burning in your chest. But I don't know if those are like the same thing or different things. I feel like they are in like the same category, so I will circle yes for that. And then the last one is sleeping on. So am I sleeping on my left side or my right side? Um, honestly, I don't like sleep as good as I used to. I like toss and turn every single night. I wake up every single night and I used to like never wake up. Like I was usually the type of person that when my head hit the pillow, I was asleep. But yeah, I don't really sleep as good as I used to, so I definitely sleep on both sides. But I feel like I typically sleep on my... So I would say that I typically sleep on my right side more. So I'm gonna circle right. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the ring test by myself really quick. Okay, so I literally have a piece of my hair. The camera is not gonna pick this up at all. Oh, maybe it is a little bit right there. Um, so yeah, I literally have a piece of my hair because I don't have a string. And I've seen people do it like this. And then I have my promise ring from CJ. All right, so I got my ring on uh, my piece of hair. And we're gonna move to the couch real quick so we can do the ring test. All right, guys, so I'm on the couch now and I'm about to set up my camera to do the ring test. So yeah, let's get it. This is a very awkward um, position. So let's just ignore that. So basically you're supposed to just like make sure that you're not moving it it's supposed to just move on its own so yeah here we go i feel like it's definitely going back and forth the ring itself is kind of like twisting 
but I feel like it's definitely going back and forth. Can you guys see that? So yeah, I would say that that's definitely back and forth. It's not going in a circle at all. All right, so in my opinion, that was back and forth. If you guys disagree, just comment down below and let me know. But yeah, so I'm gonna circle back and forth. All right, so now it's time to compare and see if these old vibe cells are actually accurate or inaccurate. So let's count how many for each section. So for boy, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And for girl, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you have it. So obviously girl one and we are having a girl, which is crazy. So, and let me just give a quick disclaimer that every woman is different and some women who do this, it is correct for them. And some women who do this, it is not correct for them. Um, but overall it is correct for me. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way I did this video. Cause like I said, even though we already know we were having a girl, I still wanted to do like this concept of a video. And yeah, I think it's just interesting to like kind of test it out to see like if it's correct or not. And I've never seen anybody do it this way, so I feel like it's pretty unique. So yeah, um, clearly for me, it, it's correct. But like I said, for every woman, it's different. So for some women, it might not be correct. But yeah, so that is pretty much the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. So some ice spoke, you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, drive me one go You so, you so, you